Hi everybody. I wanted to do a quick video on WinSCP, uh, which is a free piece of software, um, mainly used for um, exchanging files on a local, uh, from a local computer to a remote server. It's got a number of protocols, uh, SFTP, uh, FTP, SCP, WebDAV, S3, and a few other protocols. So I'm gonna be using this in a few future videos. So I thought I'd just show you how to download it, install it, and set it up. I'm gonna set it up by uh, connecting it to my Asus router uh, via SCP and SSH. So if you first navigate over to uh, winsp.net and navigate to downloads, um, you see the green download button here, just click on that. Uh, let that download. Once that's downloaded to your downloads folder, just double click to install. Then just accept the license agreement. Typical installation works best. I find there are some custom options if you want to. Uh, keep with the commander interface. Next and install. It'll only take a few seconds, it's quite a small application. Okay, so once that's finished installing, just open that up and launch it. Okay, so once that's launched, this is the uh, commander interface. Because you've got no session set up, it's gonna ask, ask you to create one. So if we just go through that together, if you look at the file protocol, if you're connecting to an Asus router, mine is uh, flashed with the Merlin, uh, Merlin firmware, you're gonna to wanna to select SCP. Then the host name is the IP address uh, of your Merlin router. Mine is 192.168.1.1. Then you want to enter your username and password, which you would normally use when you log into your router on the web GUI. So if I just go ahead and enter those, put my password in. and then just press login. If you get this message about an unknown key, that's just a quirk of um, Asus and Merlin, just connect to yes. And that's it. So here you're into, you're into your um, Merlin router on the right hand side. On the left hand side, that represents the files on the local machine that you're running WinSCP. So if I just go up to the, uh, on the left hand side, I'll just go up to my desktop. Okay, then on the right hand side, you can see uh, I'm in my uh, Merlin router. So if I just do a little bit of navigation in there just to show you. Uh, so I've been doing a couple of um, uh, videos on creating custom scripts and have them run from a cron job, etc. So if you go into the Asus router and I go into the uh, JFFS folder and then into the scripts folder, these were the scripts that I've been creating and I've made a couple of videos about already. So that's quite simple. So that's now logged in to both the remote um, Merlin router plus obviously the local machine. So if I wanted to create a file on my local machine using Notepad++, I can then transfer that across once finished onto the Asus router. So just as a, uh, a demonstration on the left-hand side, if I click on this file install.log, just a random file, uh, and then do right-click, you can click on upload. So if I just click on upload, it's got the remote directory here, which is the one I'm already in, which is jffs forward slash scripts and star dot star means it will keep the same name. Press OK. You can see here on the right now that install has been transferred from my local machine over my local area network and into my Asus router. So I'll just delete that because I don't want that. Uh, but there's a couple of other little features while we're here, which is quite interesting. So rather than open up a, a command line interface uh, via Windows, 
uh, you can also do that from this script, so uh, from this WinSCP. So if you look at the top here, uh, the little black icon uh, representing command line. So if I just press on that, so that's currently taking me via command shell into um, my uh, Asus router, and I'm in the current directory, uh, JFFS forward slash script. So I can run commands uh, while I'm in there. So if I just want to list what's in there, ls, and then execute, so that shows again, um, via the command line what the files are for example or if I wanted to check my uh, crons I can do that so let's just delete that and do cru and l for list cron and there we are you've got my free cron drops so anyway this was just a quick um, video just to show you how to download and install and set up win scp uh, in particular to connect that to an asus router you do need to have of course on your asus router as i said in previous videos ssh does need to be enabled um, if you don't know how to do that have a peek at one of my other videos and shows you how to do that anyway that's all for this video and you'll see me using this in a few future tutorials um, particularly on scripting and uh, on the asus router I uh, hope that helps. If it does, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so I see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.